All right, good morning. It is Monday and I am back. So, yeah, I took took Friday off last week. Um, I had stuff going on and then I didn't didn't end up streaming on Thursday. Um, so it's been a it's been a little bit uh, since my last stream and I got to figure out what I was doing. Um, let's see. What was the last one? Okay, so I have the mock. Oh. So I have the mock there. I think, if I remember correctly, I was just doing... Let's see. Yeah, I was just doing a lot of the formatting. So... This looks really good. I, I like how this looks. So it's the title. It's the title of the workout. And then you have the actual um, date underneath. Uh, so you can kind of tell. And, and I mean, this is the mock. So it, the dates are in ascending order. But the, the, actual, the actual real app uh, with Wells... Uh, it queries it queries the workouts in reverse order, um, so you'd actually have the most recent up at the top, uh, which is what it should be. Um, what's weird though? Oh, yeah. Okay, sweet. That is scrolling. Perfect. Um, and then this was also something I worked on getting the. Um, like having no bottom border when you're actually in the workout page, um, the back button and then this, this I need to format, but I, I don't think I'm going to work on that today, even though I think I said I was going to, um, on Wednesday, but anyway, so I was actually looking at this. So so I, I, I use this example. I use Twitter as an example to where to put this title. And on the Twitter website, it's left, it's kind of left aligned. But on the mobile app, what I what I realized when I was on the mobile app after doing the stream on Wednesday was that this is actually in the middle. It's not left aligned. And so I may actually put this back in the middle. Let's see how that looks. And it would be right here, right? Left title. So there's a left title, left icon, left click. I th think what this is. If I just do idle, right? It puts it back in the center. Yeah. All right. So I guess I'll just put it back in the center. Um, since I eventually expect this to look like a um, mobile app. And that's fine. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't mind how that looks. Um, okay. Okay. So I can close that, close that. Um, now going back to my notes, um, I do need to update, I do need to update the workout model with the title field. Um, because I haven't done that yet. And then, so I think that's what I'm going to work on right now. I don't think that, that shouldn't take very long. Um, add title and workout model. I mean, I guess that's what that is, right? Um, yeah, the scroll, I want to do that too. Okay, so let me just add the title and that should 
which I have, I think I still have description. I think I'm still going to leave description in. Yeah, I'm going to leave description in, but ID date title. I just need to add title. Whoa. Title, title, and title. And that should all, well, and then I need to do the auto migrates, yeah. Which there's doesn't these don't have to be unique. Dates have to be unique. The titles don't. Um, I would like to set. I'm not going to worry about setting limits right now. Select ID, title, date. Wait a minute. My date title, date title. Alright. By ID. See, ah, oh man. I don't like this. Hey, Cube, how's it going? Yeah, no, I, I really like it. I really like it. I like Go, and I like, I mean, I like using Vim, too. Uh I, I am not a god, unfortunately. I guess not, unfortunately. I don't think I'd want to be one. Uh, merely, merely mortal. If you've ever seen, what's the, what's the movie? Is it Bruce, Bruce Almighty? Uh, being God is, uh, I don't think I'd be up for that job. ID date title. ID date title. Yeah, but I don't like... I wish there was... I wish there were an easier way to do this. I don't like updating all these things. I mean, I could use... I mean, the easy way to use this would just be to use an... Would be to use Gorm. Oh, you know what I should do? Okay, yeah, this is what I need to do. Uh, workout... I need one of these. Title... Workout... What what do I want to call this? Um, require title. Uh, let's require title. Um, if w dot title. Turn error workout invalid title. Oh, perfect. All right, and then require workout title maximum length, maybe. max length I don't have to use this one but uh, 
if lin w dot title is greater than max max title win. Not a, let's see. I don't, oh, there it is. Okay. Workout table, workout date format. Workout title, max length. Uh, what's a good max length for this? Um, 25, 30, 40, 50, 50 characters. Workout title max length. Turn error workout title too long. That seems. I mean, I think I just do invalid title, but I'd want a better. Why is it invalid? I guess I would just do invalid title. And again, I don't have to use that one. I think I'm just going to start with require title. Wait. Oh, but now I'm requiring a title. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I think I just need it on create, right? Yeah. By ID. By limit offset. Oh, migrate. Yeah. And I'll need it in update. Okay. So that works. So basically title can't be empty, but right now it can be of any size. And I might, I might enforce this one at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay. Yeah, I think. I think that works now. Oh, boy. This always takes a while. I wonder if I should. Oh, nope, it passed. Cool. Okay. Six. Let's try. So where are workouts? This all works. That's all fine. Oh, but I have to, I have to, um, I'm gonna have to drop the table. Oh, and this isn't even going to work. I mean, it will work. I could probably run it. It'll use the mock one. And it might actually build the databases too. Oh, what?
Okay, so yeah, it's using the it's using the mock, but that's fine because it should have built the tables I wanted, and it did. Okay. Uh, okay. So now, I don't know why it does that. I don't know why. Like I I did I haven't changed the window sizes so i'm i'm not sure why it was it's doing that but whatever let's do that and let's build should be no workouts yeah workouts are empty but now i don't Oh yeah, okay, so I can still but this is this should break because this is not the format it's expecting. So this is gonna break. Yeah, invalid workout title. Well that's that's not what should have happened. I should have gotten invalid date format. Um get new workout. This is what's wrong. Okay. Let's see. New workouts. Workouts. Workout new. Workouts. And now three. Workouts new. Workout. Um models.workout workout models.workout I mean maybe I don't even need oh Maybe I just need to pass in a title. I mean, I'll keep it this way, but I'm only going to use the title. Date. Title. Workout title. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to use the date created by how does hold on how does this one work do I use the date workout workouts date date s yeah okay so I, I I generate my own work date here workout workout that's fine um so really, I don't need wherever the modal is. I don't need the workout. Workout title. Yep. Oh, this is even. It doesn't actually even do anything either. Okay. Well, let me just get rid of it then. Um, I feel like I'm missing something, but oh, I am missing something. I guess got to copy the changes. All right. So no workouts, just a title. Um, workout one, submit. Huh. 
Huh. Well. Well, this is cool. I mean... There's no title. Why is there no title? What is this? Create. Oh. Insert into date. Title. Missed one. Because they weren't being inputted. Um, yeah, they just had no titles. Okay. Um, I need to drop this table. Which I have to drop this table first. Perfect. Okay, that should work now. Alright, now I should see titles. Error while creating workout. Huh. Error while inserting two values for three columns. All right, we're getting there. Oh. Uh, all right, now I broke something. Oh. Now it's working. Okay, I don't know. Something, it would, whatever. Perfect. All right, now I have it working. Work out two. Work out three. And as you'll see, it's in it's in reverse chronological order. So I get the most recent first. And but none of them have none of them have any exercises, which is fine. I mean, I could add them if I wanted to. Um, sure, I have wherever the insert is. There it is. Workout ID, exercise ID. And now if I run it, these things should have, yep, they have exercises, except three doesn't have exercises. Everything else does. Name B, exercise three, and exercise, exercise two. Perfect. Okay, so now now the, the Wells app has, has a title. Um, Add title, yeah. So that's done. Um, uh, 
Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this is... Yeah. This is... One thought I had. Which was... When hitting the plus button, instead of asking for a title, it just auto auto generates a title and then goes into the workout. But I could probably do this in two steps anyway. I'll, I'll do the first one, which is... It goes into the workout. Oh, but you know what? Yeah, this is this one's gonna be tricky. Because I'm going to have to refresh. So on create, on new workout submit, what do I get? I get reload. I do reload. So I'm going to have to set a value here. I'm going to have to set another value. Yeah. But I don't even know. Yeah, that's not going to work. I mean, it will work. So here, okay, let me let me go through what I'm talking about. So what I want is when the user hits this button, I want it not to open this modal. I want it to open up this page with a preset title that the user can then change. Um. Yeah, that's getting complicated. I'm not gonna do that's. I'm not gonna do that right now. That's a convenience feature. It'll come later. All right. Um. Title and date need to be editable. I mean, eventually. Eventually, the title and date do need to be editable. Date more than the title. But that's, again, that's going to be a tricky thing. Need modal to set title. Prefill date. Yeah, I use go. I'm going to, okay, to set. Date. Need modal to set date. Okay, so all of this, all of this is something I will need at some point. We're going to. I'm going to pass on those because I want to what I want to get to what I've been wanting to get to this entire time is being able to go into a workout and and actually record an exercise like record a whole workout and so that that's the primary that's the primary purpose that's what I want to get to so yeah I'm not going to worry about
I'm not going to worry about any of this other. I'm not going to worry about the nice to haves yet. Um, what I'm going to start doing now is what time is it? All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll start getting into it is actually editing this page is making this page look good. Um, yeah, making that page look good and actually being able to record a workout. So I need to add exercises to the workout. Um, Uh, okay. Let me add time field add action. Yep. Um, add edit button. Make time date two. Edit title and date fields. All right. Create date time period on back. Set scroll. Yeah. Okay. So workouts. This is workouts. This is workout. Okay. Add exercise to workout. All right, so I need to I need to get the basic layout. That's going to be a nice to have. Um, add time field to workout amount. Oh, I do need to do that. Um, let's do workout. Actually, it's going to be workout model. I do need that. Add time field to work out. Store it in separate time field. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now let's just change the look. Let's work on the look of the... Is it still running now? Right. Let's go back to mock. All right. All right, so what I want to do is this. Let's make this look better and useful. So, I think I know how I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be a list group. So what do I want? I, I do want the name and the date available. And I kind of want it to look like that. That that would look cool. The name and the date somewhere up here. Don't need the ID to show. And then the exercises. So the exercises are going to need... The exercises are going to need to be lists, but they're going to need to be editable. So it not just, I mean, I guess lists, but input groups maybe is the forms. Yeah, they'll probably need to be form groups. Or input groups. Yeah, something like that. I'll have to think about it because some of these... Uh, 
Um, interesting. I'm gonna have to check how it's done because I'm gonna have. To, I, I think what I'm gonna have to do is have these as different groups. And each exercise is going to have, because each exercise is going to be different. It can have up to, I think, six input fields. And I would like them to be horizontal, but they may have like that. That's, yes, like that. That would be cool. But this is going to have to be dynamically, dynamically set. Um, with this, yeah, this is, this is, okay, this is going to get a little, this is going to get a little interesting. Multiple, I'm going to use multiple inputs. But I want, I don't necessarily want form text, form label. Yeah, that's what I would want. I would want an input label. I'll have to see if there is such a thing floating labels oh that's cool oh that's what I would use form floating label floating input email address that's really cool but now I want open with open this slightly oh that's cool how do they do? Oh, they put it in a row, in a column. Interesting. Okay, so there is a way to do this. This is cool. That I'll use that eventually. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think I have all the pieces. I think I have all the pieces on how I'm going to do this. Um... Hey, Burgess, thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, I think I have all the pieces. Uh, so now it's just a matter of actually start working this out. So do I want to work on the title first? Title and date. Sure, why not? And I mean, this is just going to be a straight copy of this page uh, list group let's do this return not that not that I guess I'll keep that key value there's not gonna be any clicking not gonna be action not gonna be on click okay so all this just goes away uh props props dot workout title props dot workout date and I'm gonna need to I think I have that one. No, I don't. Oh, that's not good. Okay. I don't know what just happened. And I need list group. Look at that. Perfect.
I mean, I don't like how that looks, but we're getting somewhere. We're making progress. Um, let me get rid of this stuff. Okay, so now we have this. Now I kind of want the bottom thing back. And we'll, we'll, we'll iterate. We'll iterate. Okay. Um, list group. Actually, what are the options for list group? Layout, components, list group. Oh, okay, let's just do that. Menu list. Menu list. Menu list has no class. All right. Let's get rid of the variant. Let's see what it looks like. Actually, I don't think I'm going to... Oh, no, that looks fine. Oh, no, no, no. No, it doesn't. Nope, that does not look fine. I do not want that. Mainly because I don't like the rounded corners. I don't like how the rounded corners look. All right, so we'll leave that there, and then... Uh... Right, let's do an input. I'll uh, I'll start with a list group here. And I think I need do I need a list group item? Yeah, I do. I think that's fine. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we're getting a little formatting in here. That's nice. Um, now what I really actually want is these to be an input group. Um, so let's see if the input groups have, or I guess I could leave them as list groups, do the rows and column. How do it, how does it work? Yeah, because I'm going to use these floating labels. Um, so I'm not... I'm not actually going to use the input groups. Yeah, I'm not going to use the input groups. I'm going to use the floating floating labels. and the. F I mean, it's still a form control. Control ID label, class name, interesting. It's still a form control. Placeholder. I don't want placeholders. Label. Floating label form control. Okay. Um, I want this. This is what I want. Rows and columns. List group item. Although now I'm thinking I should probably do horizontal list group items. List group item. I mean, I could do. No, horizontal, like this. List group horizontal, but then everything has to be a list group, which actually isn't that bad. And I would just have. That might be the way to go, as opposed to doing rows and columns like this. What does that do? I mean, it kind of does the same thing, but I like having them together. I like the idea of having them together. So let's call it a list group. Oh, but they're all a list group. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Variant flush. List group, horizontal. All right, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I 
I need this up here. This down here. That can go away. That can go away. Horizontal. Yeah, it's going to look much better. I think that'll work. Yeah. Oh, but now they're on top of each other. And they should be flush. Why isn't it flush? Yeah, that, I mean, it doesn't look good, but it's, I mean, it's getting, it's getting closer to what I want, which is, no, but hold on. Why, why do these... Yeah. Uh, look at that. They have these breaks. That's what I want. I want these little breaks in them. Horizontal equals breakpoint. Do mine have breakpoints? No, they don't have breakpoints. Oh. How do they get the spaces? I mean, the, I mean, one way to do it would just be to have divs. That seems silly. No, that doesn't even do it. I want to know how. I want to know how they get those. Okay. Oh, they have margins. That's how they do it. There's a div list group horizontal small. Maybe it's because I have flush in here. Like if I get rid of flush, maybe that'll do it. I mean, not really. I mean, it kind of fixed it. it looks a little nicer. I also doesn't. I don't like how it doesn't go all the way to the end. How do you get the brakes in there? What am I missing? List group horizontal. I mean, this is, I mean, this is nothing, right? This is nothing. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Um.
This kind of has the effect I want. But not really. So I may, I think I'm, I think I'm going to go back to the rows and columns. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to this. Row and column. Let me try that. It's just column. I don't need to call it. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're going column undefined. Uh, t -t 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 import row and column from what? Row. Bootstrap row column. Yeah, but where's it from? There it is, okay. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Yeah. That's nice. Scales well. I mean, it's not going to be that long. These are going to be input boxes. But... And then, I mean, I can format. I can format the rows and columns. Oh, you know what I could probably do? I could even... This is going to get, yeah, this is going to get obnoxious, but yeah, there it goes. Now it's formatted the way I want it. Which is probably not the right way to do this. But it works, so whatever. Oh, you know what else I could do with this? I didn't even think about that. Um Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it adds that line in it. Um, I mean, I just need a line at the bottom as well, right? List group. Exercise. That's kind of what I want. I I'm gonna leave it there. It, it kind of just looks. I like. I I want the title. Is there a input group or a list group title? 
probably not. There's a way I can do this. Um, to add a list group title. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. Um, yeah. So I'm still working on this. Really, just making this, uh, formatting this correctly, and making it possible to th these need to be input boxes, obviously, uh, for the actual exercises. But that's gonna have to be that's gonna have to be done dynamically based on the value based on the values of the exercise. So we're getting there. I'm getting there. Um, yeah, I'm getting there. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, socials, actually, I'm going to... Is that... Let's see. Let's see. Um, make add loading input boxes to columns. Okay, that's how I'll work it. Um, uh, let's see. Dynamically create rows, columns based on exercise okay yeah that's what i'll try and do tomorrow um socials are tyler travesty for twitch twitter and github and then if you search my channel on youtube or if you search for tyler travesty on youtube you'll find my channel where i upload all of my streams so if you can't catch them live you can always watch them uh later uh feel free to leave a comment send me a message uh, thanks for everybody who uh, who's in chat, uh, Cube and Burzus. Uh, thanks for the follows. Um, and yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, and I'll keep working on it. So thanks for watching. See you next time.